walking through the athletes' village, I've got half a foot. I should know better. Part of me was thinking this is a beautiful celebration of humanity. The other part was going, oh, it looks like the cantina scene from Star Wars. <laughs> Seriously, there was a Swedish Paralympian, a woman walking through the village, holding hands with a dwarf, wearing a t-shirt that said, yes, he's my boyfriend, and an arrow pointing down. <laughs> and the more severe the disability, the more you can get away with. I know this because I was walking behind two Australian Paralympians, both in wheelchairs, and heard word for word this conversation. Bloody blind people shit me. Why is that? Well, why do they put braille on the buttons in elevators? How do blind people know where the buttons are? <laughs> Followed, I swear, by this. Yeah, we screw with them. We glue poppy seeds to the buttons. And no one's immune from saying the wrong thing. Even Barack Obama slipped up. Five months ago, Barack Obama was interviewed about how bad his 10-pin bowling scores were. His exact quote was, oh, they were terrible. It was like the Special Olympics. <laughs> I know, and again, a part of me went, oh, I'm pretty sure the President of the United States isn't allowed to say that. <laughs> and another part went, yeah, but I think the previous one would have qualified. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thanks for being amazing. Good night.